M0FXB Radto RT950. A couple of people are having problems connecting their cable and reading the radio. So the cable that you purchase, which is nearly the same as the Alens HD1, um, looks like this. Of course, it's got these pins here. Now the pins are in the same place on the HD1 and it slips in here, like so. See that groove? You've got a wing there that slips in, okay? Slip that in. So what's happening is two things. One is just where it meets the sort of side of the radio, because the radio is quite large, that's pushing, pushing, pushing it away. So just be wary of that. You've really got to get it in there. The other one is that the screw is just a bit short. And so what I had to do to get it to, to, to basically catch, I cut some of the plastic away. So I took the screw out completely. Took it out, pulled it out, unscrew it until it comes out. So you feel it's all, the thread starts to catch coming out. And then I literally got a knife and you can see my cut marks. Let's go a bit closer. And I cut some of the plastic away. And then obviously the other way of doing it would be to have a longer nut, okay? Quite hard to focus on these things when they're close up. There you go. A longer one of them would do it as well. And that's it. So then you put it in. It's a little bit fiddly. I mean, some people don't like these type cables, but the upside of these type cables is that you can still hear the radio. Like so. And then so now when it's on your computer... And remember, the COM port's going to show up even when the cable isn't properly connected to the radio because the chip is actually in this part of the cable, CH340. So then if you just go to settings, just here, oops, it's already done out. Select your COM port. Remember to click OK and then read. And then start, and look, it's starting to read now. Bye for now.